Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, good morning, Nick Collier here. We got a, a nice little short piece that we're going to do. Probably uh, put it up on a Wednesday or something like that. Um, and Metro Guy, and you remember him. He's come through uh, the shop oh, half a dozen times over the last year. Uh, he's building this really sweet little three-wheeled uh, car that I think it weighs like 500 pounds or something like that. And, uh, and it gets 70, 80, 90 miles to the gallon. I'm not sure of that for sure, but, uh, but uh, he's working on the front end right now. And uh, it's, um, it's a bit of a struggle, but he's, uh, he's kind of worked out. So uh, what he's going to do is replace this uh, cast iron knuckle. And uh, what he wants me to do is to build a sleeve that's going to have all of these interior dimensions and this one exterior dimension and have a uh, shoulder that comes up to five inches and um, that should be uh, pretty pretty straightforward and then what he's going to do is he's going to take all of these connectors that connect up the front end to the car and uh, build them custom so that they'll bolt on and bolt back off of the, again so that this can be replaced or shifted or I'm not sure what he's doing. So we got, uh, let's see, can you see? Let's bring it in closer here. Can you see that? Well, yeah, probably. So we've got to, to cut this, this shape here, basically, uh, with a little... Uh, a snap ring groove in there or actually a big snap ring groove and uh, and we're gonna do that in aluminum because he wants to do a test run on this and see if it's gonna work and then come back and do it in some harder steel like maybe 8620 or even 12 out 13 which is very machinable is stronger than you know uh, 1018 which is horrible to machine so we're going to play with this in, in aluminum, and uh, hey, hang in there. We're going to have some fun. Okay, first thing we're going to do is just face this off and get it squared up. Then we're going to come in and bore a hole in this whole thing, and then we'll start building our shoulders. So, let's face off. Put it in here would be good. Try flipping this over. That's much
Okay, well, you're wondering why I'm using a crescent wrench on this uh, on this old drill bit, and uh, it's because uh, somebody uh, actually brought this bit. It's not too hot. Uh, down from a number five taper to a number four taper. And when they did that, they cut off the end. And uh, I'll show you another bit here. They cut off the end, which is the exact thing that grabs on the inside of the, uh, of the uh, tail stock. So I don't have a grabber on this, but I only paid five bucks for this drill bit and damn if it doesn't work fairly well, as you saw. So I'm happy with it and uh, yeah, I got to grab it with the crescent wrench. So, okay, fine. Okay, so from here on out, we're going to bore this thing. So uh, let's go ahead and, you know what? Yeah, that's centered. Let's give it a start and see what we got. We're going to run the other way. So uh, we're going to pull it out and give it a little sharpening, either that or put a, another bit in. Yeah, let's just sharpen it. So we'll come back in a few. Okay, our first bore hole is, uh, it looks like we got about a quarter inch to go here, so uh, we're not even going to take a measurement at this point. So, next step we take in this little operation is bore this out about another quarter inch to uh, 2 inches 676. And I've marked on the inside um, where we're going to go. In fact, let me, uh, let me bring you down to that. Okay, so I've, I've put a mark right, and you can probably see it right inside there. Um, and that's uh, 320 thousandths from the other end. Now, if I remember correctly, the other end isn't a machine surface just yet, so we better recheck that. But we're going to check it and see how it goes, and uh, we'll uh, be back in a minute. All right, so uh, so we're gonna, not going to go quite to that line. We're going to go just short of it because uh, we probably have to machine this thing back here. So uh, so uh, we'll do that. <laughs>
Okay, we got 11 thousandths left to cut here, and uh, I think I'm going ahead, going to go ahead and just cut that. And um, what I want is uh, uh, I'm not trusting my DRO these days, so I'm going to hook up a little dashboard deal here and uh, get this thing accurate. So we're going to go in 11 thousandths from here, so that would be five and a half. There's five. And we're going to do five and a half. Okay, our next step is to put a groove in for this snap ring, and that's going to go right in. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little line in there about an inch. And we're going to start the groove on this side of the line and, uh, and cut that. And then uh, um, we'll go from there. i got to figure out how deep this groove is, which is not going to be easy. I'm going to just estimate it to be about, uh, what do we got, 30 thousandths or so. Let's just give it a try at 30. So we've got our bid in. What we haven't done is uh, made sure that we're not too high. our measurement here and we are way too high so we got to crank this baby down a little bit a little bit more there we go all right we're tight So, bring it in, and I think for this I'm going to get my loop. My loop optimizers and uh, get my head in the way here and uh, get in there and really uh, scope that baby out. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but you'll see the trail of the cut. And uh, let's get it started and crank this baby up. And I think since we're cutting... Looks like we're just about that side of the line. So I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. Okay, using this as our model, uh, we're going to want to take a chamfer out of that by about 20 degrees. Uh, looks like close to a quarter inch, maybe 200 thousandths. And we will cut that. Well, 
I don't know, things aren't looking exactly the way they should look. This should be closer to that edge, and it's a long ways in. So, um, we've got to do some measuring here. See what we've got. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, well, before we do anything else, we're going to have to take about, oh, I don't know, three-eighths off of this... Uh, off of this end here so uh, let's uh, whip that out and uh, see what we can do Okay, now let's come in and put that taper in. And then this whole side, I think, oh, no, we still got to do the outside. All right, so we're going to turn this down to this very small space. Okay, so uh, we've got it cut. We're down to almost where we want to be now, but it's hotter than a pistol. So I'm going to let this cool off. I'll get on, go down to the house, take a little uh, siesta. Well, not a sleeping siesta, but just to hang out and uh, relax for a little bit. Let this thing cool down so we can get some good measurements. <laughs> 